I kept seeing a car go into the water. All day they've been showing me reruns in my mind of adventures with purpose. BP's gonna find her in that in the Prosser Lake. We have found Kylie Rodney's vehicle. Again, our search for Kylie at Prosser Creek Reservoir on August 21st. There are plenty of questions and very few answers after four students at the University of Idaho were found murdered in their off-campus house. It's like if you look at Ted Bundy's eyes and you look at his eyes, they're the same. Maybe a little bit lighter. Uh, the one thing that I keep seeing is curls. So I don't know if he has curly hair or wavy hair, and that might be when it's grown out. I think he dungated, like his, his face might be a little bit longer. Um, there's a reference to a pointier type nose. He honestly looks a lot like Ted Bundy, but like a jacked up uh, Ted Bundy, like okay. not as handsome. Seriously, that's what I heard, like a jacked up Ted Bundy. Why am I hearing the word campus security? I keep getting like a, like a security guard or a, a badge. I don't really, and that could be in his past as well. That might not mean that he just does it right now. And names can be, like I said, interconnects can happen, so they might not even fit this case, or they can be connections to someone. I keep getting like a Brian or something like that. It's because they are going to catch him. Because I keep, I'm seeing him in an orange jumpsuit. Good. So, that tells me that he wasn't as smart as he thought he was. Okay. Um, and he's probably going to go to jail for this eventually. I keep getting December. Eight-year-old Brian Koberger he was arrested Friday in Pell. Also get the name Richard again. I also get the name Rick. Damn name Allen is coming in again. I jailed 50-year-old Richard Allen in connection with the double murder. Teen best friends Libby German and Abby Williams went hiking on a trail and never came home. Done on November 20th, 2019 at 7.14 p.m. Q and O. Um... I don't know, I hear something like Quentin or Quentin. I've heard that, I'm not sure if it fits here at all, but I'm seeing trash and I don't, I, I'm not sure, but I've gotten it a lot, so it fits someone. Um, 942 Wednesday morning, Quentin Simon's mom told 911 her little boy was gone. I do keep hearing a trash truck though. Then I keep hearing the trash truck. It's almost like the trash truck is around the same time that he left. That's one thing I can't get rid of is the twisting of the trash bag. And um, so then I'm like, well, is he in the trash? Okay. Unfortunately, I hate to say that. I do hear landfill. Could be that that's where maybe the cops think that he is. Like he's in a trash bag, but. Well, new tonight, a heartbreaking search underway in Georgia for a missing toddler. Police are sifting through trash at a landfill for the remains of 20-month-old Quentin Simon. If he's still alive, which honestly, earlier I felt he was, um, and I felt like he was going to be found. That was earlier in the day. A three-year-old boy found alive and in good health. For some reason, I do want to go out the back of the house, though. But like to the wooded area, but I don't. He was last seen on Friday playing with his dad in their backyard. And I said, like with three within three miles by a log. I'm not seeing him being hurt, and I'm not seeing someone coming up and getting him. And I said, "Were you alone?" Yes. The main two things I keep getting is the wooded area and the shed. Well, to take cover in that shed, and I, I truly. My kid. I would want somebody to come help. We are live as law enforcement and volunteers search late into the night to find- I see him running to the woods. Um, like Cam, like is this an abduction or did he run off? Cause then they give right. me the Riker thing. 
Um, eh. No, I keep getting the repeated image of him running to the woods. Else. It's um, like right in their backyard. Okay. So maybe he decided he wanted to go play and then he kind of got lost in the woods. Um, okay. He's got to be within two miles. I keep getting that two miles. Um, so, like, I keep getting a reference to the edge of the woods. And so he's still alive because I'm not using him to get this information. Right. Around in the woods, like, I can't, I can't find my way out. I Like, I'm stuck. Like, in a, and I said, he's in a bush. Okay. And we we're like, yeah. what the heck? What do you mean he's in a bush? I said, he's in a bush. And there's. There's searchers around him, but they've missed him. Okay. Because he's yeah. in this bush. And uh, I went across a, a field um, of grass. I came up on some woods and uh, I listened good. I heard like a whimpering kind of noise. And uh, at that point I was like, there's no other kids here. It's gotta be JJ. So sure enough, I went in the woods and about a hundred feet from where I was at, he was, I think he was in some stickers. There's a lot of stickers and all there. Tonight in our missing series, a case that we have heard a lot about from our viewers. A person. She wa he wants to take me down the road to another, to like a neighbor's house or something. Like another farm. I also hear neighbor. It, he said he knows this guy. He knows him. And he's a neighbor. I don't know what the friends come in. Respect. 58-year-old James Brenner, who also happens to be Dylan's closest neighbor in the remote desert area of Lucen. Hi guys, <laughs> sorry about that little bit of a glitch there. Um, so tonight we're going to be working on Nathan Mill Millard. I was actually asked to work this from the by a, I guess a friend of the family when he first went missing. I unfortunately was asked the day before he was found, so of course I didn't get to it in time. Um, so those are the details that I do know is um, you know where he was found at, which I had told her he was you know within a. Um, I can't remember if I said three or five mile radius. Um, and there was some other stuff I got that I don't quite remember. But anyways, before we get all into that and before we start doing the reading, as you guys know, everything is down below on how to support me um, for merchandise and booking a reading. Every All the other uh, podcasts, old podcasts, new podcasts, the book for now until it gets published. Every Any way that you want to support me is all down below. So check that out. Um, and so, yeah, as you guys know, information can be past, present, or future, symbolic, or have multiple meanings. Spirit will sometimes use my references, experiences, or how I relate to something to try to explain what they're trying to say. So if something is not literal or factual, but I see it, I will say it because I get everything for a reason and it may be symbolic. Um, because sometimes we're noticing that even though I'm seeing something, like it's not like literal, like it exactly happened that way, but it's symbolic in some form. Um, and unless, it, if I see it, I have to say it or it will repeat on me. So that's how I know it's from spirit and not me. Sometimes when I'm, when I'm like kind of questioning myself or I'm going a little slow, I'm checking in with spirit to make sure that it's coming to me, not from me. Okay, that's really important for us to do because sometimes our mind can run away. Also, information is as we perceive it. So I do have a lot of symbols for things, but sometimes those symbols that I have might not be exactly what spirit is trying to tell me. This is the way that they communicate. Everything happens in the timing that it's supposed to happen, and I'll get the information that spirit will give me. I do not know everything. Um, it doesn't work like that. So whatever spirit feels is important, that's what they'll give me. Um... So you may hear, hopefully everybody will be cool as they have been with my videos, but you never know. I do have animals and they may chime in or you may see a cat or two. Um, for those of you who have followed me for a long time, you should be used to it by now. So uh, Tammy or Vanished and Forgotten will come on and she will validate what she knows. She does not know everything about a case. She does not have time to sit and research cases. 
but she will tell me what she knows and that's all I need her to do. I do not need her to know every single factual information. I just need her to bounce off of and keep me going in the right direction so that it doesn't seem like I'm sitting there doing a reading for myself. She's just the sitter for the reading. She doesn't know it. She's just going to say yes, keep me going. The reason why I'm telling you guys this is because a lot of people think she's supposed to know everything, every factual piece of information. And un unfortunately, that's not possible. And I don't expect that. So, um, you know, she takes time out of her life to do this for us. And if you have not subscribed to her channel, go over there and subscribe. I'm sure she'll get some videos up soon. Right, Tammy? Um, <laughs> so uh, keep in mind that everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Um, these, this is in no way fact, only psychic medium impressions. Viewer discretion is advised because I'm not sure what I will see. I always do like to throw that out there because you never know. But this is a crime channel. I am a crime medium. So there's that. Um, I think I've mentioned everything that I, I need to mention. Tammy says yes. So I'm going to go ahead and bring her on and we'll get started. Hey, Tammy. Hi. <laughs> okay. So I had his picture up and I lost it. There we go. And I lost it again. Okay. Okay, so I do know that, you know, the, the details as far as, you know, how he was found and all of that. So I don't really need to see any of that. What I want to see is kind of what, what transpired that night. If he does show me that, it's because he's showing me that. It's not because I know it. Because um, sometimes they will take me to the area even if I know what the area is, just because it's part of the story. Um, that's what I don't think people understand is sometimes I try to get the whole story from beginning to end if I can. And so, and I think I forgot to mention that I can get things that around, around the case, people involved in the case and around the area too, and interconnects. So, you know, names, especially, um, interconnects to other cases with timing and stuff, but that's one thing I think I forgot to mention, but because I don't think people realize that. I think they think everything is like at that specific time. But I also try to get a lot of validation. So stuff going on in his life, his family's life, whatever. So that's kind of how I like to work. Try to get as much information as possible. We'll put it that way. Yeah. And I do. And, and, and Tammy is not texting me. Okay. She's. I don't even have my. Like my phone is showing his picture. Okay. Because I know a lot of people were saying that. I don't need her to. <laughs> Um, it, it, she, she's usually Googling so she yeah. can validate. Um, she's not texting me. So I just have to put that out there because we had some comments. Yeah. I mean, Laurel I don't need to be searching for me and helping me find the information to validate too. So, and that's, I think there's another thing I forgot to mention is that spirit will mention factual information. It doesn't mean I've Googled it. It's just, they will bring up factual information to validate things. So of course they're going to bring up fact, factual information. I mean, that's a given, right? doesn't mean I've Googled it. It's just a validation thing that they do. Um, plus, if you're trying to get the whole story, you're going to end up with facts. I mean, yeah. this is common sense. So I don't understand some of the comments we see. <laughs> Yeah. I need to put him closer. Come here. Okay. I did put the thing on Google just in case I have to Google. So Google. Okay. Well, Google. I mean, there's I mean, as far as we know, like there's not a lot out. Okay. I mean, there right. is some stuff, but it's you know, they they don't they don't have the reason why we wanted to do this tonight is because they don't have a co a, a COD. So yeah. they don't have a, they don't have that. They don't really know what happened. Obviously, he didn't put himself there in that manner, right? Um, so, you know, uh, that's why I want to see what happened. If there is foul play involved, or if it's just kind of a cover up for something that happened, like that's kind of what I want to see. Um, and some stuff I did get, like. <sighs> with his family that I don't remember what it was uh, or not yeah. his family, his, a friend of the family. It's right. like a yep. friend of the, of the wife, wife or whatever she is. I've heard she was his wife or she wasn't his wife. I don't know. I think to him it's his wife. doesn't matter either way. Um, but I do have to say that 
I'm having a hard time breathing right now and my chest is is hurting extremely bad. Okay. Um Okay. So he's getting to it. Um Good. Like I do know he was there on a work thing, but when I when I talked to the the friend, I did not know that. Um and there was something else that I said to her that I didn't know at the time. This was before anything came out. This was the Sunday before he was missing. And I said, did they find his wallet? Because I saw it on the ground. And she said, yeah, yeah, they found his wallet. So she validated that. That was brought in. And um, also, so I'm just giving you this to, to say kind of what I got with the family from what I can remember. Um, but he's coming in. My head's hurting. My chest is hurting. This is something that is involving the head and chest, obviously. Yeah. And it can be symptoms of, of what was felt or whatever. But um, they're, I'm getting like a really bad headache. It's weird because he's showing me like, like obviously I know he was there for work and I didn't know that till after I, I asked her the day that she messaged me. Um, do you know what the construction is about? If, uh, cause like for some reason I see like a construction site. So I don't know if his work was for a construction site or had to do with a construction site. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because there's, and, and I hear new development. So I'm wondering if there was a new development going on. But I'm seeing like, you know, like tractors and like, you know, how whenever they're starting to do a new development, they he's showing me that. Oh, um, yeah. And so I don't know if he was like. A, I don't know, I hear contractor, but I don't know if that's like the actual building contractor or someone that like contracts for buildings, you know, um, right. because I see him standing there with like a group of people and he's got a hard hat on because yep. that's kind of like what they have to do. Um, for safety measures being on the construction site. So right. I'm not really, sh I'm not really sure like what his role is, but that's, that's kind of what he's giving me is, is a construction yeah. site in that like he's talking about, he had a meeting. I get the reference to three o'clock in the afternoon and I don't know what that reference is, yeah. but um, there is a reference to like the afternoon time and that can be around three, anytime before three, but I'm getting three for some reason. Okay. And I would say three in the morning, but it it's, I see it, it looks daylight outside when I'm getting that. Okay. Um, and his, it may have been earlier before that, but was he with there with more people? Uh, there was one other coworker there. Okay. Um, they're showing me, okay, so they're showing me, he's showing me like a hotel, but it's like, like I can walk, I can walk from somewhere to the hotel. I don't know if it's from the yeah the site or somewhere else. My heart is hurting like really bad. Um, usually when my heart hurts like this is like a heart attack or something to do with the heart issue. It's it's more than just chest because it's like my specific heart, like right here in my heart is hurting. Um, oh. but he says I partied. So, I mean, I, I kind of know that. I kind of know that. But he, he talks about bar hopping yep. or going yep. to several different bars. But I also get like a strip club or or something like a strip club. Okay. Um, which is what men do, right? There's yeah, there's no shame in that. So no. it's, either a top, it's either a topless thing or, a, a, you know, strip club, yeah. something like that. Because I, I they're showing me – he's showing me a sign of like – have you ever seen those neon signs of like the woman with like, um, yeah, 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 and they've got like their their leg crossed. Like I'm getting that, and I don't know if it's symbolic or not, but that's what he's showing me. Like he went to somewhere like that. Um, so I want to. I'm trying to see. I mean, he's actually pretty strong, and that's kind of why I wanted to wait to do this reading. I want to give him. I wanted to give him a chance to transition and kind of get to the other side so that he could be a little bit stronger and show me stuff, but I am having a hard time breathing. Okay. Um, I feel, I feel messed up. 
but I'm like crossfaded. Like, uh, not just drinking, but other things. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what those other things are, but it's like when I'm partying, I'm partying kind of hard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which again, you know, people do that. Uh, See, he did this to me. I mean, I got this with the with the lady. Whenever they showed me the the wallet on the ground, it, there was an alley close by or something like an alley and a dumpster. And yeah. he kept showing it to me like on a sidewalk. Okay, yeah. Um, so that's kind of the vision I get is like the sidewalk and then there's like an alley or something that's like an alley with like a dumpster. Like that's what I kept getting. Yeah. Um. Like, he's really, really, I really can't breathe. Yeah. Uh, I'm even feeling a little nauseous. Okay. Um, it's weird. Did he, like, tell the co-worker he'd meet him later or something? Um, or that he'd meet him back at the room or... Uh, yeah, because he don't There's something like the where they... Huh? <sighs> His friend stayed at the bar while he, like, he left earlier than his friend did. Okay, because I was going to say, because I see him split ways or part ways. Either yeah, one part. stays and one goes, or, you know, it's just, he shows me, like, a parting of ways. Yeah. Um, And I also, there's, and I was getting this when I did, when I talked to them earlier, like, the area is not good. Like, there's something about, like. Yep. It's not a good area. Yep. I get a reference right. to a lot of drugs, a lot of homeless people. Like it's not yep. a lot of crime. Like it's not a great area to be to be walking in. Yeah. And yeah. I feel like he took off walking. Like he he didn't really have fear or the frame of mind to be like, oh, let me get an Uber or something like that. It was like, right. well, um, but he does take me to. He does take me to the ATM, though. And I know that was out there, but he's showing me him walking to, I don't know if it's like an ATM. You know how they have, like, the ATMs, like, on the side of the banks or the side of the buildings? Like, that's yeah. the kind of ATM I'm getting. Um, yeah. I think it was to be by maybe... Uh, I don't, I hope I'm understanding this right. Um, I'm not really sure what the cash was for at this point. It's almost like, I don't know if he wanted to buy like DREGS, like to go do in the room or something like that. Like that's kind of, I don't want to misperceive that. Right. Um, Cause I, Because I feel like it was kind of out of character, really, for him to, like, really, like, party and do that kind of stuff. It was more like yeah. maybe he was looking at it as a vacation or a time to let loose or, you know, um, like, that's the way it kind of comes across, you know, really. Um, Sorry, I'm kind of stuck. I I mean, I'm seeing something, but I just I want to make sure that it's not from me. Man, you know how I said like my head, it's like Yeah. I've got like this this pressure in my head and it's different than the headache I've had today. But yeah. at the same time I feel like I feel messed up, like really messed up. Okay. Wow. Um and that could be just from drinking a lot or you know, you know how you kind of 
you know, mostly when you, when you like drink a lot or something like that, it does affect your head, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. That you, and that's kind of, that's kind of how I'm feeling. It's not really like hurting. It's more like I'm, I feel like I'm a little like messed up. Right. Um, Okay, so I keep, there is one thing I keep, it's, it's repeating. Okay. Um, I keep someone like following him. Um, okay. And it's it's dark, like this area feels like it's like dark, like it's not really lit up very well. Right. Um, yeah. And he may have a, a hoodie on, but I also hear the word homeless. Like, I don't know if it's a homeless guy or a, Okay. Or one that's just like around there that seems that way. Um, wait, it's like he's, I don't, it's like he's holding back. Okay. I don't, I don't know if maybe he's trying to protect somebody. Um, like for a cover up of some kind, or if there's more involved in this, but <sighs> yeah, this person is like. I just keep seeing him like fall, follow him. Um, okay. And I hear the word robbed. Okay. Uh, like, like maybe that's why his wallet was found. Like he was actually um, robbed at some point, but the, the, the odd thing is, is I'm curious, I keep getting, and what I got, like, also when I was talking to that lady is a park. Um, yeah. But I'm not really sure what the significance is if that's, like, where it happened at, because I don't feel whatever happened, happened where he was found. I feel like it happened somewhere else. And there's a reference to, like, a park area that's kind of by water that's, um, it's like maybe across, like across the street from, it's like I'm on the sidewalk, but if I go across the street, like maybe there's like a park or something and maybe that's where that person came from, or maybe that's where something happened. I'm, I'm not really sure, but I also, I keep getting like, I keep getting like the, the alley, like, um, and that kept coming through with a friend too, like that something may have happened like in or by an alley. Yeah, yeah. Like possibly where his um like possibly where his his wallet was. Okay. Um I'm trying not to question this because uh, I never, I never like, I never want to give like wrong information. So, and make sure it's not my mind because it's something that's, it's also like I hear like the word suffocation. Okay. Um, And it's almost like, and I don't know if this is symbolic or not, but like I see like a bag go over my head. It's, it's, but it's like from behind, like someone catches me off guard from behind. Now, why somebody would have used like a knife or a gun or something like that? It's it's almost like I hear crime of opportunity. Yeah. But there's a part of me that's just wondering if he didn't take too much and his body gave out. 
and then it was covered up so that there's that part that I'm feeling, but then I'm seeing this. So I'm a little confused. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little confused because there's the reference to the heart and that okay. heart, my heart being really bad. But at the same time, if you can't breathe, there's going to be something that goes with your heart along with say that, you know, you're on alcohol or, or other things. And then someone does that to you. It might all be a combined thing. Right. Like it feels yeah. like it, it, it somehow it's all involved because I do feel like my airway is cut off and I do hear the word suffocation. Okay. Um, I hear the words I couldn't fight back. Okay. And, and this is, <laughs> again, I'm second guessing because, you know, they say no foul play. But the reason why they're saying there's no foul play is because he didn't have knife wounds or gunshots or you know, no brain. But if he was, if, if he was somehow his air taken away, right, that wouldn't show until they, they did like an autopsy. Um, but I, I keep getting this repeated image of a bag over my head. And sometimes that can just be symbolic, like suffocation or something like that. Sure. But I, I keep getting a reference to, it's almost like I'd be curious if there wasn't an alley and then across from the alley, there's this park area. Like if you go across the street, um, because yeah. that one thing I kept seeing. There's an alley right by where his phone was found. Because that's why I think that there's more involved because his wallet was not with him and his phone was not with him. So it's almost like it maybe dropped or was taken in the struggle and then dropped. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's why to me it makes more it makes more sense than like a cover up because it's almost like whoever took like um, whoever took what they did from him. Like um, I think that's why because I keep getting him like without a shirt and without pants, but. Yes. So maybe where yes. his okay, so his clothes I think were thrown in the dumpster or something be, by yeah. where his phone and stuff were found because of the DNA. Okay. Um it's 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 I don't get that there's evidence. It's like getting rid of evidence. That's why that was done like that. Because we all know you punch somebody on their clothes, your DNA is on their clothes. So yeah. it's it feels like that's that's what it was about, but like where okay. do you get the rug in? But then I go back to like where did the rug and the plastic come from? You know, where would this person get that? Right. Unless it was something that was like around the area he was dropped off, because there's a lot of crappy stuff around there. Um yeah. that's what I'm trying to like I think it might have already been there or something. Okay. Because I feel like this happened kind of close to the hotel. Okay. Yeah. But then I go like, who's the person that has a car to take him where he was? Because I don't think this homeless person, like, how would he move him from one place to another if he's homeless and he doesn't have a car? Right. So that's where my mind is, is going logically. Um, so I'm not sure if he was homeless or he just looks homeless or reminds you of a homeless guy. Like... Or he just hangs out in that area. Right. Um, but I feel like there's DRUGS linked to that guy. Like, I don't know if he's an addict or, oh, probably. you know, it's, it's linked to that person. Yeah. Um, I hear struggle. So I feel like there was maybe yeah. a, like this happened. I feel like it was really close to the hotel. It was because I, there's a reference to like an app that I keep getting the alley and the truck, like the trash can or dumpster. Okay. The alley and the dumpster is where I feel like, like maybe I'm pulled into the alley and this happens to me. Okay. Yeah. But why didn't he leave him there? That that's another thing that's kind of like, or that's where he's attacked you know, taken into a car and then taken somewhere else. But it, it could be the initial attack took there. You know? Right. Yeah. 
But what the thing I can't kind of let go of is I can't let go of this link to the work. Okay. And I know he was there for work, but I, for some reason I can't let go of a link to, to there being some kind of like weird thing with the reason he was there and this happening. I, I don't know what it is. I don't understand it. Okay. Um, He says the word nefarious, so there is something nefarious. Um, sorry, I'm getting like bits and pieces, and I'm I'm really trying to see like how what happened and like how he ended up like where he did. It's almost like that part's blocked out because I keep getting the reference to like being attacked near the alley or attacked in the alley as I'm walking. Right. Like I'm being followed and then just like I'm pulled into the alley and I might have been. Um, did he, I wonder, did he go to several ATMs because it's, yes. it's, yes. Well, yeah, I think so. (sighs) He keeps talking about like I screwed up, but I don't really know like what he means by that. Um, And there is something about a DRUG deal. Yeah. Like maybe he was looking for for something. Um, But I I don't know. I don't know if it's just that has to do with the person involved or him. Like he's not being, it could be me, but it's, it's like I'm getting bits and pieces instead of the whole story and it's kind of driving me a little bit crazy here. Um, it's so weird. He keeps taking me back to the I wonder where that um, the work site is in, in proximity to where he was found. Um, because he keeps kind of taking me back to that now. For some reason, there's I, I keep getting a reference to his work. And, and yeah, I know he was there for work, and but it's... I don't know. I don't know the meaning of that. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, See, like the back of my neck is hurting too. Like the bottom of my head to the back of my neck. Okay. Oh. I wonder if they're going to find, like, I know he just came and sat right in front of the camera. I wonder if they're going to find something like um, fentanyl or something or what the, why I'm hearing that word. I don't really know why I'm hearing that word. Yeah. Um, not that he did it, but it might be like, it's, I'm trying to understand what he's saying because he keeps saying cover up, but I, but I mean, that could be, I don't, I don't know what that means. know what that means keep getting a four-leaf clover i don't know what that means either um i mean that reminds me of like an irish something irish st patrick's day my favorite day of the year 
Yeah, but I don't know if it has anything to do with where right. he was or, or um, I don't know. Like he was a, like an Irish pub, or I'm not really sure. Um, Happy, but that's pub. usually what it means. Usually, what no, it means to me is like a four leaf clover. Usually means Irish or something green, Irish something. Um, I can't get over the feeling that I feel like super drunk. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I feel like extremely tossed. Um, that could be why things are a little blurry, but he would know on the other side. So I'm not really sure why I'm struggling a little bit. Sometimes things just aren't clear, unfortunately. Um, hey, stop. No being jealous. There I go again, feeling nauseous. Okay. See, I keep getting a reference to a meeting, too, but I don't know if... Like, he was trying to, like, meet somebody that night, or... Like he met the people he was supposed to meet the next day at the construction site, like for the job. He met them at a baseball or basketball game or baseball game. I don't know. Some kind of game that night. Yeah, but I don't I don't know if that's what he's talking about or if it's like he like he was gonna meet somebody after the bar or I'm not hmm. Okay, so Happy is Irish. It is an Irish pub, okay. and it's on Third Street. So okay. I don't know if that's why you're getting three o'clock, but it was on Third Street. Oh no, because when I was getting three o'clock, I was getting like I was seeing daytime outside. Like it came in like a time. Um, okay. I mean, it can have, numbers can have multiple meanings, but that's just. Come on, okay. Nathan. Show me, dude. Show me. It's, it's, okay, so it's almost like, um, where, where the phone and the wallet were found was where he was, like, Almost like kidnapped or something. Okay. Like to be robbed or or something like that because it's um I feel like I get in a I feel like I'm in a car at some point. Like I'm I'm forced into Makes a sense. car. Makes um sense. but I don't it, it's the car is like crappy looking. Like a, a I like to call it like a hoopty. Um it, it's okay. almost like a like a I don't know if I'm going to get the color right because it's dark. Like a rusty, like red or. Um, okay. It's like some kind of shade of red or something is the way it comes across. Okay. Um, and it's it's sure like a square. Color. It's like a square vehicle. Like that. You know how the back like like square in the back is what I see. What? Um, And it's like a four door. Yeah. But it. I really don't think the, the guy looks like, um, I think he followed him. Like, yeah. I like there's a reference to him, like, following in the shadows, like, um, yeah. like, he'd watched him, so he knew, like, he had money or, okay. um, 
And I don't know if he's really homeless or he just seems that way. Or maybe he's like partly or maybe he lives out of his car. I don't or he's just this happened in an area where there's lots of homeless. I don't know. Um, right. I did hear it's not a good area. So, yeah, no, I felt that when I when I first uh, first talked to her about it, I was like, it's not a good area. She's like, no. Um, like she, he says, like, I shouldn't have been walking. Like, he's rethinking what he should have done that night. He shouldn't have been walking alone in the dark drunk. Um, right. Because I feel like he says crime of opportunity. Um, and I don't know if the guy really meant to, like, hurt him or just kind of, like, take his money and leave him. Right. But it's like something went wrong between what was in a system and what was happening. Um, oh. Because, you know, when something's in your system and then you're, you're high, like anxiety, like your blood pumps it through faster. But um, I still like, he still says suffocation and I still can't breathe. Okay. Yeah. But it's almost like I feel like, I don't know how the guy controlled him because that's that's why it's it's very it's very even puzzling to me like from what he's showing me because um I wonder if there's two guys. I don't know. It's like I it's like I feel like a second guy or something. But it's like how do you control someone without a weapon? And if you have right. a weapon, why don't you use it? Right. So that's why my logical mind is not understanding this at all. Right. Unless it was just because his head is covered and he's drunk and maybe they did something to him to be able to control him. Maybe the promise of, like, I'll let you go or something. I don't know. Um, Because yeah. it's almost like I... Hmm. It's almost like I feel like I'm being drove around, and that's why I wondered if, like, he went different places to take out money. Like, you know how some ATMs you're only allowed to take out a certain amount, and then you have to go to another ATM and take out another amount, or something. It just depends. I don't really know why he would go to different ATMs. Um, that's kind of what's like puzzling me a little bit. Right. Um, Could it be? He went to a lot of different stores, so I don't know if, like. I just keep getting different, air, like, going to different areas, and I don't really know, like, the significance did, of it. He was seen going into multiple stores, and I think that's why you're getting it, because he's taking money from his card, you know, and using it. And he was seen at all these places, so I think. Maybe that's why you're getting He There was an ATM stop. But I don't know who is the one that took out the money, if it was Nathan or if it was that dude. Did that dude say he just, like, found his wallet or something? I haven't heard about anything from, like, if he has said something. I'm puzzled, man. Because he's not showing me. Like, it's... I mean, at some point, I do feel like I'm in a car. But yeah. how I get controlled and get in the car... is, And I do feel like there was some kind of struggle that happened. Like I said, I keep getting the alley in that trash or that dumpster, like, where his phone and wallet were. Yeah. 
And so that's how I feel like he's like maybe pushed into a car. Um, But the weird thing is, is he keeps taking me back to the meeting with the people or something work revolved. And I don't really know what he's trying to say with that. Okay. Um, Because he never made it to that meeting that day with the contractors. He He never showed up. That might be what it is, but I just... I'm not saying that, like, anything with his work is involved, but I just get, like, a weird feeling with his work or his job. Right. And there's a, there's a reference to, like, being blackmailed or something. Okay. Um, and, and, again, I don't... I don't understand that either. Like, like I said, I don't feel like he, it doesn't come across like he like wrapped himself up in a rug. Right. Or plastic or, you know, took his clothes off. Um, So it doesn't, so someone definitely did that to him. It's just, I'm trying to see, see my chest is hurting again. Yeah. It's almost like something transpired. during either a deal or because I I do keep getting I don't know And I keep getting, like, I keep getting money, like, going from one hand to another. Um, I, don't, I don't know what that means. I don't know if he bought something off these guys or... Right. I had different meanings for that. Um, it's like I feel like I'm pushed into this car. Like, that's what I keep getting is I'm pushed into the backseat of this car. Yeah. But it's weird. It's like there's somebody, maybe somebody else in the passenger seat, a bigger guy that I can't really get a good look at. Um, okay. Because it, for some reason it comes across as like, I don't think one guy could have completed this on his own, really. Um, right. Or there's a presence of like a second, of second somebody that either knows something or was there or, you know, um, A bigger African American guy is what I keep seeing. Not, not the guy that you know was following him. This is like someone else. Um, <coughs> somebody said that they cough when their guides try to get them to go another direction, but I don't know if that's why I'm coughing or if it's because I can't, because I'm getting the I can't breathe. Um, so it's almost like it kind of started where that alley is he was driven to this area told he was going to be let go and something went like wrong yeah um, because I, I keep seeing someone come up behind him and put like a bag over his head, which is right. But then I also keep getting a reference to like my body can't handle what's in my body. Yeah. And with the adrenaline, everything is pumping faster. And I there's a reference to like my heart. 
So yeah. I don't know if it's like a mixture of the two, but I did get the word suffocation, but that could all like, like I said, the bag could be symbolic. Like he ended up not being able to breathe, but right. at the same time, I keep seeing, I can't, I keep getting the image of someone coming up behind him and doing that, like out of nowhere, because I, yeah. it, I, I see him like standing, like where kind of like where he was found, but, and there's like, um, and the, the, the people, the people involved like knew of that place. Okay. I keep hearing a train. I wonder if there's a train by there. Train tracks. I can hear like a train, you know how a train whistle sounds or whatever. I keep yeah. hearing that, but um for some reason. Um And oddly, I don't know, I keep picking up like a gang too. Like, so I don't know if this was like a gang area or these people used to be in a gang or what the, I'm not really sure. I don't really know what that is either. Okay. Um, I don't know why I keep like hearing like paid off or I'm not really sure what that is at all. Um, it's odd because I keep getting this like, like crime of opportunity, like bad, bad area. Like this was the, you know, he was just kind of in the wrong place at the wrong time kind of thing. Like I get that, but then I keep going back to, job and he keeps saying like I don't really know if he's trying to say it's involved or just I, I don't I don't understand what he's he's being very vague let's say it's right but at the same time like I keep seeing him standing there in the lot you know and yeah. I was like I there's like I just be curious if there's another guy involved like a bigger guy because I keep getting a reference to more than one person. Um, yeah. And I keep, I keep getting that repeated image. And see, the reason, again, like, they don't think there's foul play is because there's nothing external. But in this was all internal. Whatever happened to him was all internal anyways. All right. Does he have daughters? He's got one, yeah. A daughter. So yeah. I think he's talking about like his daughter and his wife because he says my girls. Yeah. And I'm wondering if he called them my girls. Right. Um, and he's handing red roses to his wife. Um, I don't know. If there was a special something coming up, I don't know if it's an anniversary or something. I mean, I do get roses from husbands to wives, but it, it, the way that it comes across is like for something special or maybe an anniversary that he's going to miss, something like that. Um, I don't know why he's saying they'll never know the truth. It's almost like he's protecting something. Okay. I don't know if it's... Per it, maybe that's why he's being a little vague. Um, right. Like, there's more to this than just we think. But at the same time, like I said, it, it comes across as, like, wrong place, wrong time. Right. But then at the same time, it doesn't. Yeah. And I, I'm really confused by that by that feeling. 
Are you getting to like it? It's made to look like it was a crime opportunity. That's what I'm wondering. But like, did they, did somebody pay a couple thugs to do this? Like, that's kind of what I'm wondering. Okay. You know, um, and that's, but why? I, right. I don't know unless, you know, like I said, it has something to do with like his work or something, or he knew something, or I, there's, there's a yeah. feeling I can't let go of that I want to direct to his work. Okay. But I, I just don't know if I, I don't understand it because he's being very vague with it. And that could be my protection, their protection, whatever. Maybe he right. doesn't want to go fully into it. Like it could have been made to look like something like maybe these guys got paid to do something. I don't know. Okay. I'm not saying that because I, I can't perceive it correctly. You know, right. so it just it's it, there's kind of that feeling there that it doesn't make sense to me. Um, like, I don't know. I don't know how to really explain it. Like, it seems like like I get the I get the saying, like, there's more than meets the eye. Right. And um, I mean, this is going to be. I don't know what they're I think the guy is going to go to jail for. For it, the one that they, because because uh, I see like you know behind behind bars, like okay. uh, my symbol for being behind bars. Um, so there might be someone that's arrested for it, but it's not going to necessarily be. Mur murder it might be like manslaughter or I don't know I can't really even say that <laughs> there, was, there was a guy arrested yesterday or today I don't remember but I mean and it could just be a crime of opportunity and I could be mixing up the work and you know just because he was there for work but I still keep getting something and it could be I'm picking up something shady around the work too right you know so that's what I'm trying to decipher because sometimes they don't know how to communicate certain things or I don't right. know how to pick them up and understand what they're trying to say. Cause, or sometimes they don't want to communicate it for various reasons right. um, for protection of whatever, yeah. you know, of their loved one left behind or like they don't want people looking into things further or just me. They don't, you know, they don't want me putting certain things out, but, um, so I'm trying to get him to just kind of show me. Cause I feel like, did you find out if there was a train around there anywhere? No, I, I keep hearing the train whistle blowing. Um, but it's like, uh, Yeah, it's almost like I'm forced into a car where my wallet and stuff is. Like, that's where it happened was near an alley. The alley was important. Then, um, which alley came in Nicola, I think, or somewhere. It came, not Nicola. It came somewhere else. I don't remember. Um, and it didn't make sense for that case. So I don't know if it's connected or not. But it's like I'm forced into a car and I'm taken to this lot. And I think maybe the stuff that he was wrapped in was just there because it's like, it seems like it's a place that has that kind of stuff around it, you know? So, you know, sometimes people just drop off crap. Yeah. Like that's what it seems like. It was just like kind of in the area. Right. So there is a train. Let me make sure I get this right. There's like a train station on the left side of the area he was found. So does that mean there's train tracks around there? Oh yeah. Yeah, because I keep hearing I keep hearing train whistles. Yep, a lot. Yep. So it's like um I don't know if he's just saying, you know, that he was hearing train whistles um right. like prior to his passing or 
because that's where his body was. Like it's for a location thing, but I can hear the whistles. Yeah. It's kind of driving me a little crazy because I just keep hearing it. Um, yeah, I, it's... Eh. It's kind of confusing because it comes across as like, like my body gives out because of everything that's happened that day. Like, like things not mixing well, you know. Right. Um, I'm sure he was in pure sheer panic, you know. Yeah. Two at time at like I point. keep getting that. There's a reference to fentanyl, which I don't really know what that is. I don't know if he accidentally took it or he was like, I don't, I don't know. Right. This guy, I don't know if he's like a dealer or had it on him or exactly what it was about. I don't really know that either. It's just the way that it comes across is there's it's sin, there's some something. Um, right. But, you know, then I keep getting that vision of like a bag going over my head. Like I can't get rid of that. Okay. Yeah, you could suffocate easy on that. And there would be any signs. I know that's what I mean. And I don't, I don't, it could show up in an autopsy to my... I don't know, depending on if they just say, okay, all this drugs and alcohol was in his system, he OD'd, and they don't even look any further. Like, it's it's very it's very possible, but he said the word suffocate, so that makes me feel like he was suffocated in some way, shape, or form. Right. Um, and he does say wrong place, wrong time. He says chalk it up to that. Um... He talks about, like, he thought I was going to turn him into the police or something. Like, I think he was going to, like, because it comes across as money being, like, a big thing. Or he looked like a a target. Okay. You know, you have this guy walking alone in the dark, stumbling around. He looks like he's got money. And if I've been following him, I know he's spending money. So, you know, right. he's got money. And it's almost like he's a target. Yeah. Um, in a bad area. Right. Yeah. Because he's, Nathan's almost saying, like, if I would have gotten to, like, an Uber or something like that. But he felt like he could use the walk, you know. Right. For whatever reason. But, um... Because there had to be some kind of struggle for his wallet and phone to be left where it was. You know, people just don't leave their wallets and phones around. Right. Um, so there was kind of some kind of struggle there, which even when I talked to the friend, I was getting, you know, a, some sort of struggle. Or, I mean, I was getting the the alley and the dumpster and the right. wallet on the ground. So, yeah. it's almost like he was trying to show me, like, where it happened at. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but what's weird, what's weird is, is he dropped his wallet, so then why would they take him if his wallet was there? Unless they thought he had his wallet with him. Or they already got the money from him. Right. Because well, they I had think a the guy card, so they probably took the dev card and threw it. They what? I said they had his debit card, so maybe they just threw his wallet. And he's probably going to say he just found the debit card. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. I would look for his clothes and there's a dumpster there where he was found. I'd be curious if the clothes weren't there at one time because I feel like his, his clothes were thrown somewhere. Um,
or he was made to take them off. I don't really, I don't really understand that. Hmm. Maybe they have. I don't know. I keep picking up like a woman too. Like I don't know if it's like from the strip club or uh, I don't I don't see him like cheating on his wife. So I'm not really sure maybe it's a witness or um I don't know. But I don't know. It's really, it's even confusing me because he's not, he's not showing me everything. He's like showing me bits and pieces. Okay. He might not be fully transitioned or maybe he just doesn't want to talk. Um, or it could be me, but. I I still feel like I'm drunk. Okay. Or crossfaded or whatever. I, I really feel wow. um I'm trying to see is how his clothes got off. It's it's weird because I see him taking them off. So I'm wondering if they forced him to do that or If they were going to do something like weird to him. Yeah, that's weird, yeah. Um, yeah. Do you know, like, uh, yeah. I don't want to say it. <laughs> I don't want to uh, say it. I got um, it. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> it's because I see him, like, taking us, I can see him taking off. So I don't know if maybe he if they were gonna steal his clothes, or or they did it for like evidence purpose. I'm not really sure. Right. And 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 how they made him do all this. I mean, how this happened without any kind of weapon is kind of weird. Yeah. Like that's like that's what's not making sense to me. Like how can you control someone without a weapon of some right. kind? And if you have a weapon, you're not using it. Yeah. Unless again, it was made to look like something it's not. Yeah. Right. Shoot. I don't know if this is helpful at all. I think I just confused everything even more, even myself. Um Something about security cameras. Okay. Um so I get security cameras, but I also get like traffic cam. Okay. So I would, I'm sure they have, but checking the traffic cam. All right. Where, like near where he was found or something. Um, I think they got a video from one of the ATMs, but it was, it was, yeah. I don't want to say it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just, I, I know that, but I'm, because obviously, because, you know, ATMs have, tra have cameras on, I keep getting reference to like a traffic camera though. Okay. Or like a camera that would have caught the car. Right. Some, there was a, like a, I don't know if it was inside a store or on the outside. And I want to say it was the bar or not a bar, a uh, liquor store area where they caught video footage of him. Of the guy. I'm not sure. It was the guy like that had his card. I don't know. I think I confused that because I don't know. Oh, I I keep getting like a tra like a traffic cam. 
because there's okay. a reference to like them being in a car and, and a camera. And it might be like, you know how in um, Idaho 4, how the how the gas station caught the car going by. It might yeah. be something even like that. But okay. I keep getting a reference to like a camera, like catching like the dude in a car. Okay. Like with him or something. And I don't know wh whose car this is or where the heck it came from or if it's been dumped or what. Because I'm wondering if the car is like, because I see the car like sitting on the, like, um, like, like on the side of a curb, like okay. parked along the, like the, along the road, you know, uh, yeah. just kind of left. Um, yeah. so I don't know if it was the guys or he stole it or, or, or where this car comes into play at, or I don't know. Um, it's all kind of yep. fuzzy actually. But I keep seeing it like like not far from where Nathan was on the street, like a, on by a curb. Okay. Yeah. Um. It was a stolen car. Was it okay? Because I keep getting I like it wasn't the time for you to get that. <laughs> Uh, well, I was kind of getting, I was kind of like saying like, well, you know, was this a stolen car because where the, this guy get a car at, you know? Yeah, and then he just leaves it like it's obviously stolen because he shows me it's just like on the side of the road. So they, I don't know if they found it, but um, they did find it. Yeah. It, and it was, uh, I don't want TMI. Keep going. Well, did I, did I get, did I get anything right about the car? That, that it was stolen and you got that it was left close to where Nathan was. No, I get yeah. that, but like what it looked like because I I keep getting like it, a like box in the back, like a square in the back. But I keep getting like a, I don't even know if I'm seeing the color right. It comes across as like a rusty red or a red or I don't even know. Like maybe it's nicer than what I'm seeing. Maybe I'm relating it to how he is. Right. <laughs> like, like he's going to have a crappy car because he's crappy. Like, maybe I'm relating it to that. I don't know. I don't know what kind of car it is, but it's a blue car. Oh, it's blue? Fuck. Why do I see it? Like, maybe it, I don't know. Okay, well, I got that wrong. But like, so I said, was, I don't know if I'm going to get the color right. He was spray painting it different colors to disguise the color of the car so he was spray painting it different colors so maybe one time it was like a reddish rusty red or something or maybe that's the original color i'm not sure i'm just seeing a blue no i'm just saying that it, i could be picking yeah. up what it was before if he was spray painting it yeah i don't know who yeah. spray paints a car <laughs> right <laughs> yeah so ghetto <laughs> i mean i do feel like the guy has the answers but I, I i don't know why i'm picking up a second dude i don't know if the just the dude knows something right you know he might just know something he might be a friend and an acquaintance or something like that and he knows something he's a bigger like he's a bigger dude yeah like an acquaintance of the the guy um yeah. So there, I'm glad there was a car because I thought I was losing it, but I felt like I was in a car. Yeah. So it's like he was pushed into the car and that's when his, his, you know, um, I do think they just kind of either threw the wallet or something. It's, it comes across as like that. He got what he needed out of the wallet and just threw the wallet. But then. See, I keep coughing. There's something with that. There's something with my lungs. Okay. Lungs, heart. Yeah. I don't know. The suffocation thing comes in pretty strong. Oh, like, okay. I mean, I heard the word and then, like, I keep seeing that, that part of it. But, again, that could be, like, symbolic. But, um, you know, I, I keep getting this pain in my chest and stuff. Like... Yeah, it would cause all that too. So, 
Yeah, so I don't... And why the guy decided to do that to him, I don't know. I think he thought he wouldn't get caught. Um, and maybe, maybe he told Nathan like promises, like I'll let you go. Yeah, you know, after we go here, kind of thing. Um, yeah. And maybe he threatened him, like telling him he had a gun, like not really had it or a knife or something, and you know. Um, right. Because, I mean, like, again, like, not unless he wanted it to look. But still, you wouldn't wrap somebody up if you didn't want it to look like, you know, he would have right. just left them out there. So that kind of doesn't make sense either. Right. I'm fighting a little bit with my logical mind here because I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand because it doesn't make sense to me. Right. It doesn't make sense why Nathan couldn't fight his fight his way away if it's only one little dude. Right. But again, he was in, in, impaired. He was impaired and yes. he probably didn't know what this guy was capable of. So he probably was just like, well, I'm going to listen and maybe he'll let me go or something to right. that effect. You know. Um, <laughs> I, I keep getting a cough. I keep, I'm getting a T too. I don't know what that, what that is for um okay. yeah he keeps kind of showing me the same thing over and over like he kind of gets you know the guy gets out of the car like because he'd been following him right yeah and so it's like he'd been following him. He knew the knew where he, like where he was going, and it's almost like he went and got the car pulled up. I I feel like he's facing this way. Like Nathan's walking this way, but he pulls the car up this way, which is yeah. weird. I don't even know if he can do that there, or he parked like. Can you park in the alley that's right there, or is it is it sidewalk and you can't park into it? Well, like. It looks like an alley on the map, but it's actually like in between two buildings and it's like yeah. a long driveway. So that's maybe why it looks like an alley. I wonder if he could have pulled in there and then just kind of like forced him in the car or oh, something. Definitely. There's, there's definitely. okay, because because I just keep getting the alley, the dumpster, and like that's where he got him at. And yeah. um, It's almost like I'm a, I'm attacked, overpowered, and thrown in the car. And again, he's in, inebriated, so he can't really fight back. Right. Um, and the guy runs around and gets in his side and, and takes off. And um, I think he like tells him something like, "Just do what I say, and you'll live," or something like that. But at this point, the car's going. Um, this way. Like, if, like, I don't understand, like, when he stopped at a light, why he didn't get out, like, try to get out or something. I mean, maybe he was just too, because I really do feel like I'm drunk and crossfaded and, like, I can't really function as, as well as I should function. So maybe that's why. And I think there's a, a form of confusion that set in at that point, at that point, you know, if you've ever been like that, you know, and this is happening, I think it's you're a little confused and you don't really know what to do at this point. Right. And so, um, and then it's like, like I said, I, this guy is like either from this side of town or knows this kind of town or something, you know, the train whistle was for him to tell me that that's what he was hearing. And it might've been during what was happening to him, either that or just depending on, you know, what time of night it was. Cause I know the train out here goes like three, four o'clock in the morning very possible right. um around that time frame because i'm kind of getting that time frame like three four in the morning yeah. um i 
I just, uh, you know, but then I, I like, I, I don't know if he told him like he needed his clothes or something. Cause I do see him taking off his clothes, like his pants. It's very, so odd. very odd. It's very, very odd. Um, yeah. and, and maybe again, you know, who knows what he threatened him with and how he thought, like, if I listen to him, maybe he'll just let me go kind of thing. Um, yeah. But I again, I still get the presence of another person, but I don't know who, I don't know how that person fits in or if he was like a friend of the guy or I don't know. Um, Cause I can kind of see him. He's a bigger, bigger guy. And yeah. I'm just wondering if they're going to like chalk this up to like an OD or something. Covered up OD. Right. I'm just wondering because I, I keep getting like the the mixture of stuff in the body. Right. But I get that vision of, you know, bag going over my head or um, being the wind taken out of me or the air taken out of me, suffocated in some way. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. This guy comes across as like a pretty well liked guy. I feel like he was, you know, really into his work. He worked pretty hard. I feel like this was not something that he did all the time. Um, right. But there may have been secrets because I get the reference to secrets. There may have been some secrets that he had. Um, yeah. But he, you know, he comes across like I love my wife. I love my kids. I'm a, I'm a family man. I tried to provide. Like that's that's the way it comes across. Um, he's also talking about like how he should have been more aware of his surroundings, how he should have um, done things a little differently or a little bit smarter. He says, you know, I wasn't always the smartest guy when it came to certain situations. Um, yeah. And he just says, if my wife ever sees us, I need her to know that I love her because I, I keep getting a lot of, and she says, we didn't always get along. We didn't always see eye to eye, but I still care very much for her. I still loved her. He said, but that's marriage. Um, I don't know. He says I could be stubborn at times. Yeah. And I get the word quick-witted, like maybe he was a quick-witted person. Um Also, the one thing I keep getting is, and I don't really know how this makes sense. Um, I don't know if there's any, like, like, homeless encampments over there, um, like, by a bridge. I keep seeing that. It's like, you know, a bank of the, a bank that goes kind of by the water, and then there's a bridge, and then there's, like, like tents or something. I don't really know if there's some sort of, I don't know that why that's coming up. If he's saying where this is, where this guy stays or. Okay. But I hear like the word, like he says career criminal. Um, oh, yeah. That this guy yeah. might have a record or a rap sheet, career criminal. Um, and he yeah. says he is responsible. Like if that, if he wouldn't have taken him, if he would, none of this would have happened. Um, then he'd probably still be, he'd still be alive. Uh, yeah. because it had to do with, you know, like he, he says he's responsible allegedly, but yeah. uh, I mean, I'm saying allegedly, but he says he's responsible and you know, he says, of course they want to talk to the guy. They know he's responsible, but they don't want him to think that they know he's responsible. Um, right. Well, he's in the J jail now. Well, that's what that's probably why I'm seeing him behind bars because there's he's showing me him like behind bars, yeah. Um, and they'll probably find the evidence, like, he'll get charged with, with something. Right. Uh, I just hope that they do a thorough autopsy, right? Yes, 
hope it's done thoroughly. Yeah, because I I really get like I can't breathe. Right. Like that comes in really strong. Like this whole time, this whole reading, I'm, I'm struggling to like catch a breath or breathe. Yeah. And there's a reference to this too. So I don't know. I mean, a lot of times when people are strangled, you see it. So that's why it kind of doesn't, you know, there's handprints. So they didn't see any of that. So that doesn't make sense. But there's, there's, I'm getting a reference to my neck. Um, right. But he also says, like, he tried to be smart. Like, the guy tried to be smart, and maybe that's why, you know. I think if he wouldn't have wrapped him up, they would have taken it as an accident. Yeah. Right. So he kind of pulled on himself by doing that. Other than they would have, you know, they would have had, like he said, on TV, on, on the video or whatever, they would have had that. But they wouldn't have really had anything else maybe pointing you know, right. It, yeah. if there was anything off with it. Like that's what made it off. Yeah. By him, yeah. by him doing that. Right. I don't know if I'm making sense. No, it, it makes a lot of sense. I'm getting the same, but I don't think it's, I don't think it'll fit here unless it's like an acquaintance or something, but I hear Patrick. Okay. And it was repeating. So again, I don't know. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I'm getting anything else, unfortunately. Okay. I don't even know if that was even... I so, confuse anything. Even so more. as far as the car, it was a stolen car. He was spraying it you know, like a different shade of blue, I guess. And then I wonder um, if it was originally red or something. Yeah, or originally a different color. Um, but he had it for quite a while before. But anyways, he stole the car, so he was in a stolen car, and um, it was found over where Nathan was found in that building. But it was burnt. But I don't know how they started the car on fire without, um, like, getting attention. I don't know. I th I well, think that's kind of a bad part of town. No one really cares. I'm just surprised that he didn't show me, like, that it was on fire. That's what I was waiting for. I. It would have been nice. But he didn't show me a lot of stuff. It was, like, bits and pieces. And I was trying to put it together. Right. Um. And he could be in transition phase. He might not know how to communicate well, or he just may, you know, it, it might be me too, but sometimes I, I was show up everything. I was even thinking if he stole a car before they had ever went there, was like, was it specifically stolen for this purpose, considering the burnt it right after? Well, he burned it because he knew it was it was evidence. That's why, like, I don't know. It's just very odd. This whole situation is, like, super odd. And then you it know? was only a 24-hour trip. So. Yeah. Which, I mean, like, he would have had to have been following him, right? But it just. I don't know. I don't know if this was something, like, he was paid to do it or he just did it. I don't. I don't know what the money means on that. Okay. All right. I don't know. I hope this this reading wasn't too confusing for you guys. Sometimes spirit is not as clear as we would like them to be. And sometimes it's me. I am pretty tired. So I don't know. Hopefully it didn't. <laughs> I struggled with this one. I thought it would be a lot easier, but I, I struggled with it. Um, and I can only give what I get, unfortunately. So right. it's about me perceiving it and trying to make sense of it. And sometimes that's easier said than done. <laughs> so thanks for liking and subscribing. I don't know. I hope this was helpful. See you guys next time.